2007, 10% of the rapes reported in the Army were reported by men. It's a predatory organization out there, this U.S. military, that's non-stopping these criminal acts on members of its own organization. So we are here today as Veterans for Peace to say, this is rape awareness in the military. We, we want you to go home to your cities all over the country to ask your military recruiters, do they know about rape in the military? That one in three women are raped while they're in the military. So that's why we're here. We're veterans, veterans for peace. And we don't like at all what this military is becoming in terms of the sexual assaults and rapes committed on its own people. So we're going to march around to the other side of this building and see if we can't get into this public building. It's our taxpayers' building. It's not Yahoo's building. Yahoo's put up the yodeling. Yodeling for Yahoo. Well, Who's I think building? Our building? Who's Who's building? building? Who's building? Our building. Who's building? Our building. We want to talk to the recruiters. If they don't have nerve enough to talk to veterans, what's going on here? What about truth and recruiting? How about coming and talking to men and women that have been in the military that know the questions to ask? We want a little truth in recruiting here, and we want you to start talking about the issue of sexual assault and rape in our military. Okay, the police, the police have said we can't use sound. Only if you say Yahoo can you use sound. So we'll be using our voices, our human voices, to raise a ruckus here. It's in the U.S. Constitution. Stop the military! Cross right across here. Good, we get the good shot. Stop raping the military. One out of three. Stop raping the military. It kind of sounds like we're saying stop raping the military. I know it's hard to hard Somebody to tell. Somebody else said why are you saying raping one, two, three? Women in the military. One, in three. Yep. one out of three. Stop raping the military. Military. One out of three. Stop raping women in the military. One out of three. Stop raping women in the military. One out of three. Stop raping women in the military. Shall we go across now? And yeah. Stop raping women in the military. Thank you, sir. One out of three. Stop raping women in the military. One out of three. Stop raping women in the military. One out of three. Stop raping women in the military. Stop raping women in the military. One out of three. Stop raping women in the military. One out of three. Stop raping women in the military. One out of three. Stop raping women in the military. One out of three. Stop raping women in the military. Have you about had enough? One out of three. I think so. We're just about finished.
I feel like I'm on display. I know. And that's... I feel like I'm being... Well, we don't want that. I mean, you've been very... I feel like I'm being judged. No, nope. I mean, not by this group. I'll tell you, this group is so proud of you because these are the men and women who know what it's like. <laughs> No, the, you, well, one of the things when you speak out, you are on display, but you've done it for the right reason. You've done it for the right reason. Because, as you know, there's so few women that have the nerve to speak out. They're judging you. No, they're not judging you. They're not judging you. They know. They, they know what you've been through. <laughs> they're not judging you at all. No. What they what they judge you is that you're so strong that you're okay. I think we're I think we're gonna stop. Yeah. yeah. No, that's okay. Okay, that's okay. Let's go. That's enough. Thank you. That's that's enough. We'll. Let's uh, why don't let's give Sandra some time to process what she's been through. This is such an emotional time for her, for what she's done. I mean, standing up to talk in public about what's happened. She's got severe PTSD. She's got PTSD from being in combat. She's got PTSD from the rape, and what she's done today has triggered has triggered that PTSD again. And she is now, I mean. She's a strong woman, but you can see what happens when you start reliving this, when you start being public, and this is the first time she's ever been public with this. So she's been a very brave lady, but she's having a bit of a meltdown right now. So let's give her, uh, give her some time to process everything. Is this something that you see often? Oh yeah, oh yes. I mean, rape victims of, of you know trying to cope with things as we, uh, with any sort of of stress things, whether it's in combat, whether it's these terrible things of sexual assault and rape, uh, these these are these are the costs of war. These are the costs of rape and sexual assault, and we've triggered a very strong reaction. Or well, not we? I mean, she uh, she volunteered, and we appreciate so much. And this, uh, I mean, we've seen this happen before for young women who have started talking about it. And so we want to give her some time to process and support her, uh, to uh, tell her how proud we are that she stood up, and then we'll stand with her. And she would just, as she was saying, you know, people are judging me. And I said, yeah, they're judging you. They're judging you as a very strong and courageous person who, despite all that you've been through, are willing to, to alert other women to what's happened. Well, no, it, it turns out now that we're getting more information and more studies, it turns out that this has been going on for as long as women have been in the military, we know that, but now we're just finding out the numbers and this it's being through the Veterans Administration where they're now tracking, they're asking every veteran, male or female, have they been sexually assaulted. And now we're finding out the level of uh, horrible criminal acts that are being committed in our military. It's just now that we're finding these things out. That's why now that we know, it's our, it's our obligation as veterans and citizens to speak up. What would you like to see the military do about what action is to be taken? Well, they need to hold accountable men and women who are in the chain of command. I didn't know that that was happening. It's six years approximately of the average woman in the military. So in that time, she will be raped. One in three women.
world, the, the, the statistics of prosecution and punishment are much higher than in the military. Some cases yeah. are prosecuted, but you, it's, they make it very hard, very, very hard, if they do investigate it. And they, and they punish the women. They, you know, they who, do, who do you write to? Who do you write to? Well, you should, you should write to your congressman. You should write to... Uh, you, you should get the word out so that people don't join the military. But have you gotten into touch with like 60 Minutes or any of those other news? We're doing our best to raise awareness. This is Veterans for Peace is the organization I belong to. And we have designated this week as Military Rape Awareness Week. We're trying to educate the public about this because it's a shocking statistic. People don't understand. They have no idea. But you think after that whole fiasco, you know, Oh, thank you so much. Lady, here. Thank, thank you, you very much. There's some resources on the back. And, and this is a Colonel M. Wright. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Thank you. Well, we, let us get you a sticker. Um, maybe we do, we do we have any more stickers that this, we could give to this lady? Maybe just a couple. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh huh. Let me go over and see how Sandra's doing. I'll be right back. Maybe someone in that crowd went through the same thing and they're just scared, and maybe that's what they needed to help themselves to. You have to think about it that way. And I can guarantee you, there was somebody in that crowd that that exactly happened to. So you're going to be every time. Come on, great spokesperson, and you're going to be starring in the Vagina Monologues. So I think all the things that are going to happen. And you know, like I was walking by, people were surprised. Like really, one in three. You know, people that really resonated with them. And um, you know. Yeah. But what can we? Are you <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't for a minute, but I know. <laughs> oh, deep breath, deep breath. Yeah. But we do want to help get you in touch with some folks here. Yeah. She needs to get to the yeah. support. Yeah. Seriously, like, what is this woman not calling you back? The VA Which... woman didn't call her back. What a surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Don't go to the VA. Go to somebody else for help. You don't have help. Well, we can work this out. Don't we'll worry. Out. We'll I'm sure there's a way to and get we'll all around. Yeah, we, I'll, uh, I'm going to get in touch with Anu and Jen of the Service Women's Action Network because they've, they, they've been through this. They Maybe know some places. Also, in. join like a support group with other women yeah, who went yeah. through the same thing. That might really be really good. Because they can really it's understand. It's got to be support group. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is really New York good. City. There's a support group for everything. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. Really, it's not embarrassing. I get no. excited when uh, I do that. I feel like, yes. No. Cleaning. Cleaning, clean, clean, clean. Like, and, happy it means being born. Yeah. and let me tell you, every single person that showed up here is a part of a group that's been working with veterans for years. And whether it's sexual assault, whether it's combat, whether it's whatever it is, every one of these people have been through it and that's why they're standing out on the street. And you're just our newest member to this yeah. whole thing. It's empowering and it's courageous, okay? So, as I was saying, chapter. Yes. Rape was raped twice by Air Force officers in her one year at Cameron Bay. No, yeah. I had not heard that. And when we do disclosure recruiting presentations, the one thing that oh. always got their attention is what she told them. Yeah. The, the lady for whom their Veterans for Peace chapter was named, Joan Duffy, was raped twice, twice at Cameron Bay by during Air Vietnam. Force officers in one year. Oh my! And so when we do our full disclosure and presentations in the high school, 
the kids, the kids for the most part, aren't paying much attention. But when Joan to tell that story, their jaws drop. Mm. Thank you all so much for coming out. Thank you. That's I'm so happy so to be here. Well, where do you go from here? I uh, fly to the Bay Area tomorrow and have a two-day skiing tour out there. Because I speak so much on it and because I write so much on it, a lot of women get in touch with me. Virtually every time I give a talk on sexual assault, there will be a, late, a woman that's waiting as I leave the, the uh, talk to, to say, that happened to me. You resigned under the Bush administration. That's right. Are you going to try to work with the Obama administration at all? No. Uh, I think my value is not being in the government at all, but critiquing the government. And uh, the Obama administration, just like the Bush administration, needs some critiquing. Um, so uh, I think that's where my value lies. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Where are you from? Oh, I'm with uh, Kansas Journalism School. Oh, yes. great. Thanks. Yes, well, this is for my interactive blog. Wonderful. Really nice, to meet you. nice to meet you. Thank you. Can you explain what's happening here today and what this rally is all about? Yes, this is a, uh, this is a demonstration uh, uh, to uh, alert the American public about the horrible statistics, the horrible incidents of criminal actions committed by military folks on military folks. One in three women in our military are raped in the military. So we are here to be in front of the recruiting station at Times Square uh, to say this has to stop, that this must stop. And uh, so all of these people from various organizations of Veterans for Peace, uh, the Granny Peace Brigade, Code Pink Women for Peace, uh, all of these groups are here to say uh, we stand in solidarity with the women who are trying to get justice, who are trying to stop this, uh, this avalanche of rapes in our military. You know, all these people that are walking by Times Square right now and seeing these posters, seeing these going, that couldn't be true. One in three women rape? That couldn't be true. And when we give them the materials, it is true. And they're, they're shocked. And when they go back home to tell their niece or their daughter, maybe you ought to think twice about joining the military because you have one in three chances you're going to get raped. So that's what it's about, educational things. We're at the recruiting station because they're the ones that should give the warning to these kids that may be thinking about joining the military. And they aren't. They're not, they're not talking about sexual assault or rape at all. So it's important to stand here at the recruiting station and go to all the recruiting stations all over the country. Say, are you telling women? It should be a warning to people. If there's such danger lurking in, a, in an institution, people should be warned about it. Would you encourage a young girl to go to the military? Well, even though I was in the military 29 years right now, uh, I don't think I'd, I'd, I'd submit myself to such an organization. I would say to a young wo woman, wait till they clean it up. Wait till you know that there's an, an environment there that says we have no tolerance at all for rape. And we, by golly, are going to put we're going to have investigations, we're going to prosecute, we're going to put perpetrators in jail rather than what they're doing now, which is slapping if they get prosecuted. Only 8% of even the reported rapes are even prosecuted. And the sentences are laughable. 30 days confinement to the base <coughs> for the criminal act of rape. So there, I, would, I would say that a change in the attitude of the, of the military before I would recommend a young girl go into the military. Action lawsuit by Burke will force the military to make real change? Yeah, I'm, I'm, this is the first time uh, that we will have ever had a lawsuit against the military for a rape. So I'm thrilled that Susan Burke and her associates are putting together a class action lawsuit and we'll see what happens. We'll see if the, if the government will agree to be, uh, uh, to have a class action lawsuit instituted against it. Most of the time you can't sue the military, so we'll see what happens. But I'm proud of her for trying it. As a woman who served your country, does the statistic of one in three women being raped make you especially angry? Oh yes, as a veteran, this statistic is horrible. I mean, I can't believe that that organization that I was a part of for 29 years uh, has turned into this, or that now we know what it, it was. It, there were rapes occurring while I was in it. It's just that we never knew how many there were because as in civilian life, most women do not report being raped. How could we uh, change things so there wouldn't be so much military rape? The simplest way is to have less military. 